All right, problem 16. It says the coordinate values of the vertices of KLM are integers. Okay, so we can see that's at 1, 1, 5, 1, and 5, 4. Which set of coordinate pairs could represent the vertices of a triangle congruent to it? So I need to find another triangle that's exactly the same as that. The legs are going to be the exact same lengths. The angles would be the same. Well, let's look. I can see this is 1, 2, 3. I can see this side is 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's going to be 4. We should recognize our typical 3, 4, 5 triangle. And if we, you could actually see that you'd have to use the Pythagorean theorem, but we should recognize it at 90 degrees. That's 3 and that's 4. 3 squared plus 4 squared will equal 5 squared. So I have 3, 4, and 5. So I just got to figure out what the difference between these guys happens to be between the distance between this point and this point, this point and this one, and so forth. And I need the distances to come out to be 3, 4, and 5. Well, you could, if you wanted, you could sit here and we could plot each one of these and try to figure out what it is. Maybe that might help us sort of see this a little bit. Let's see. Let's do A is 0, 0, so it's right here. And it goes to 3, 4, over 3, up 4. And the other guy's at 0, 5. So would this represent a 3, 4, 5 triangle? Well, I can see this length is 5. That looks pretty good. But if this goes from here to there's 3, that's slant. That's not going to quite get 3, is it? So I know that side's not going to be a 3, nor is it a 4. So I can see this guy's out of the option. Now, if I needed, what I could do is I could simply, if I did the distance between these two guys, the distance formula, change in your x's squared plus the change in my y's squared, I would see, look, they differ by 3 squared plus those differ 4 and 5 differ by 1 squared. So that's 9 plus 1. That's the square root of 10. I need a distance of 3, 4, or 5. Square root of 10 is not that. So I can see that's not going to work. If I come here, let's take this point. I'm just going to do the distance between these. Now, technically, we would have to do the distance between this one and this one this guy and that guy, and then this guy and that guy. I can, I can see this is going to mess it up right away. Here to here, notice the zero stayed. You only want a difference of five, so that would give you your five length. Well, let's see what this gives me. Change my x's. Negative five to zero is five. Zero to four is four. You're thinking, oh, maybe that'll work. Well, 25 and 16 is going to give us a square root of 41. That's not a pretty answer, is it? That's not a perfect square. So, no, again, this answer is going to be 6 point something. So, no, it's not a 3, 4, 5. Let's come to this guy. Well, if we start doing this one, I'm going to plot this one. Negative 1, 1, negative 1, 1, negative 4, 5, negative 1, 5. That's actually looking pretty, isn't it? Look at that. I can see that's three. There to there. One, two, three, four. That's four, which means right angle. This has to be a five. And I guarantee if we go through and do the distance between these, the distance between these, and the distance formula between this guy and that guy, you're going to get three, four, and five as your measurements. Long problem here, but just knowing, hey, I need to create a triangle that's exactly the same, as has the same leg lengths of 3, 4, and 5, you should be able to come up with it. Or even if you sat there and you drew the picture on the computer screen, you should recognize very quickly, oh, it's this guy. It looks exactly like it with a 3, 4, and 5. Problem 16, there you go.